Hello friends and welcome back to Yoga with Paige. Today we have a quick core conditioning sequence. We all know how important our core is. Balance, helping us with our inversions, our stability, equilibrium, all those sorts of things. So today we will be firing up that belly. So let's get to it. Tabletop, sucking the navel into the spine, extending the right arm in front, left leg behind, squeezing the core and crunching knee to nose on the exhale. Moving with the breath here, doing about five on this side. and releasing back to tabletop before switching sides. Keeping the navel drawn into the spine. And gently releasing once we've evened out. Maybe doing a few spinal rolls here Finding a little movement that feels good. And repeating again, balancing tabletop. And switching sides. And releasing back to the mat. Sending the hands out in front, coming onto the forearms, preparing for dolphin pose. Lifting one leg up into the air and then the other. Alternating legs. They can be as bent as we need them to be. We're focusing on the core. Even out the sides and prepare for plank pose. We can stay on the forearms or we can come up onto the hands. Pulling the navel into the spine, holding here for a breath. You got this. Creating some fire here. And sending the right toes out to the side of the mat and the left toe tapping, holding that belly into the spine. You can be doing this on the forearms as well. And then bending the right knee, bringing it to the left elbow, switching sides, using the core to get the knee up to the elbow. You can be on the elbows hugging the knee into the chest for the same effect. And when we're even, we can take a rest in child's pose or take any other movement your body needs. Maybe a slight back bend to even out all this core work. And coming back into plank, taking the knee to the same side elbow this time, 
on the outside. You got this. Feel the burn. And sit back once you're even out. Give yourself a pat on the back. You're over halfway there. And coming around, sitting on the sit bones, preparing for boat pose. We can have the toes on the floor and the fingertips on the floor as well. Or we can raise the shins to be parallel to the mat and raise the hands. Yogi's choice. I know we're burning, but you got this. And we tap, tap. The, if the toes are starting on the ground, you can tap up. Or if we have the legs parallel to the mat, we tap down. And if you need a rest at any time, just come back and join when you're ready. And gently release, folding over the legs, taking a breath here. Rolling down onto the back, sliding the hands behind the head, interlacing the fingers, lifting the knees up, preparing for bicycles, opposite elbow to opposite knee, going at your own pace, feeling the burn here, feeling yourself getting stronger. may not be thanking me now, but we will later. And gently release breathing love into your abdominals and taking the hands behind the thighs gently rocking back up to boat pose preparation option to keep the toes on the mat or raise the shins parallel extending the arms out in front and flapping them like a bird flapping your little wings not sure what this pose is called so if anyone knows, comment below, would love to know. Using the core to balance, breathing. And gently releasing, rolling back onto the mat, letting the arms fall to the sides, raising both legs into the air lifting up the hips to set the hands underneath and gently letting one leg fall and the other you can go as slow or as fast as you would like using the muscles to bring the legs up and down don't cheat by rocking here. And hugging both legs into the chest, giving them a nice squeeze. You did it. Taking a few moments, noticing how you feel maybe starting this all over again round two and 
dropping the knees to the left side and the right arm extends gazing over switching sides gently stretching the lower back Raising the knees back up, giving one last hug. We can continue our rest or gently make your way to a comfortable seat. Thank you for joining me in this quick core practice today. I'll see you next time. Namaste.